um, controlling this camphor laurel here. It's a really good one to do because we have a nice um, surrounding of native trees here and the camphor laurel is competing with them. So if we take that out, the native trees will flourish and fill in the space. So you can see around the base we've got oh, a whole host of um, native regen. We've got some big mature trees and a lot of little trees ready to take take up the flat. So I'm going to drill. I've got a one mil auger bit in my cordless drill. It's a very good way to do it. And we're going to do a circle around the tree approximately a hand's width apart. We're drilling in Technically, it should be at an angle, but we're mainly drilling downwards so that um, the hole can hold the herbicide. We've got some roots here that will... Give a little bit more to, and it's important to fill the hole promptly after you've drilled it, because there's a thing that plants can shut down after an injury and that might um, stop them from taking up the herbicide. If this tree was a, a fork tree or a multi-trunk tree and I could reach it, I'd be looking at putting some holes into the forks. Uh, this one's out of reach so I, I won't be able to do that. I'll give it a bit of extra um, help down low. No, Just go right round the tree in this fashion. And our mix that we're using here is one to one with a gram of brush off in a litre of water. And um, that's glyphosate. <laughs> And if it does by chance keep one or two branches with green leaves on it, then I can come back later and look for stripes of life in the, in the trunk and retreat it.